a code editor that has AI feature inbuilt. That means it can write code for you. Is this going to be a really killer for GitHub Copilot? Is this going to take the job of developer, at least for the beginners? Is this really costly or is this going to have impact on the open source system because contributing to open source become too much easy? Is this can replace the VS code editor? Whoa, lot of question and only one answer. Cursor AI code editor and yes, yes, it can. If AI can improve in the future, yes, it can take your job. Yes, it can replace GitHub Copilot. Yes, it can replace VS Code. And yes, it can change how open source contribution works. But right now, it's just for your help. So let me show you why Cursor is so great. Check out these posts on the X platform. This person has created a video editor of his choice just using Claude AI. It says 11,000 line of code, 685 commit, three weeks with cursor and using all different technology. And he has created this kind of amazing video editor. That's insane. Check out this one. It says just build a node plugin in bubble using cursor AI. And it's just like carefully prompting, check the difference, make a small edits and you're done. You're not actually writing the code. What about the LM model we are using? So you can also use Llama 3.1 on Grok inside the cursor editor. That's insane, insane. And finally, the people who are using the cursor AI says that it's their go-to editor right now. So we are going to talk about the cursor AI code editor, but is it going to kill the GitHub Copilot? Because I have been using GitHub Copilot for years and I was surprised when it was launched initially. I was scared actually, but now things are really changed. GitHub Copilot has not been evolved to the best coding assistant, AI coding assistant. But here is the really magical thing. A new code editor, which is actually based out of VS Code. It's a fork of VS Code. And this can transform how you actually write code. No, sorry how you actually create application because with this you're not actually writing the code you're writing the prompt that actually going to write the code for you using the Claude api basically you can use any llm model like open source chat gpt gpt models but Claude is the best in class for now so yes cursor plus Claude. AI editor is going to kill the GitHub Copilot or not? We will see in the future. But right now, this cursor AI code editor is really, really on the fire in the internet right now because with this, you can create application in any language of any level of application you want without having the knowledge of that particular language. Yes you can do that and we will going to see what this AI code editor cursor can do for you. So if you like these kind of videos and if you want more content like this, please go hit subscribe button because that's what give me motivation to create more videos like this. And don't forget to like this video because this is the way this video reaches to other people and obviously more people will get more amazing AI content from this channel. Without wasting time, let's get started. Now, once you visit this cursor.com, you can check out this doc site. And the first thing you can see is migrate from VS Code. Because cursor is just a fork of VS Code. That means all the amazing settings you have on the VS Code, all the great key bindings you have where you just do some of the 
key combination on the keyboard and magic happens on the VS Code. Entire thing you can migrate to Cursor Editor because it's just a fork of VS Code. But the question comes, why can't they just have a VS Code extension that can do all the magic? Okay, so the question is also here. And this is that as a standalone application, Cursor has more control over the UI of the editor, enabling the greater AI integration with this editor. So leveraging AI will become really powerful when you have an entire standalone application instead of an extension. So that's why it's entire new code editor, you can say. And check out some of the features, obviously tab completion, but tab completion for multi-line, smart rewrite, you can just say, hey, rewrite in a different way. You have some predictions, obviously, just like VS Code, uh, GitHub Copilot also have. You can chat with a single file, with multi-file, with the entire code base. That's a new and really powerful thing, which I like, and I'm going to show you in a moment. Also, you can use some screenshots. You can give it to the cursor and say that, hey, I want to do something with that. That means image support is there. You can ask on the web for any support or anything you want to have. And amazingly, amazingly, it can have quick integration with your lines you have written on your coding. So once you install this one on your system, you can open this cursor tutorial where you will find a lot of things you can do with the cursor so first of all let's have the bug finding now how do i find a bug in my code editor so what you need to do you need to just press command l or control l if you're on windows so i'm going to press command l and here is the chat sidebar opened here i can just say uh, find uh, find the bug in this code now the really special thing you can see here if i focus in this part it's actually using the file which i have opened in my editor now what if i have opened another file so i have this file and this file and then i'm going to close the sidebar closing this and now once again i say command l and yes, you can see because I'm in this bug finding.rs file, it has selected this file. If I go on this explaining code and then press command L, you can see it picked that opened file. But what if you want to combine multiple files? You can just hit plus and here is a list of the file or I can say full explorer. You can just find by writing or typing use the navigation hit enter to select and now you have the multiple file you can chat with okay so let's chat with this bug finding and i'm going to say hey find me the bug in that case if i just hit enter it's going to ask to the ai model by providing entire code and see it has found the bug and it says that you need to use a rand you need to use all these different things and if I am happy with all that things. I can simply say, hey, just apply these changes. So these changes are applied. You can just see like a code review. So what was it previously? What it is right now? And then if everything is fine, just hit accept. Next on this part, using something and it has used it here. Great, accept it once again. Okay, made some changes at the last accept it and boom everything is fine now check again for any bug and if it find any bug it will going to tell otherwise it will say everything is fine so see it says uh, uh, previous response after a careful review i can confirm that there is no significant bug boom so that's how you can interact with your application with just prompting we have not written uh, any line of code we have not read this uh, rust file or maybe i don't know rust programming language but yes i can 
fix the bug in the Rust code. Okay, so that's for fixing something. But what about if you want to just know what this code is doing? Once again, it's very easy. Press Command L and say, hey, what this code does. Simple. That's very, very simple thing. Now, this is a C programming code. I don't know what the C programming code is. I'm not a C programmer, but I can see like I can see that it's not C, I, C means seeing, <laughs> not the C language. Okay, so it says that this code implementation, custom memory allocation, similar to standard C malloc, free function, a lot of things it has given. And now I can really learn C language just by interacting with the AI model about this page. That's so powerful thing, so powerful thing. And all these things are integrated. Now, let's say finding code. I can just find some code if I am not sure where it is on this huge, huge files of thousand line of code. I need to find something. I can say here, which method is uh, you'll find the children's of folder command L press this and now one more thing I want to show you here is this here comes the models we can choose github copilot chat GPT GPT 4.0 mini plot 3.5 sonnet which we have used till now cursor is small uh, GPT 3.5 4.0 let's try with the 4.0 this time and see what it says now thousand line of code I want to find something and in few seconds, I am having that particular answer. Read there. This is the one I'm just going to copy. I can find it here. Boom. Line number 557 was the thing I have just used. So great that I am amazed with how powerful this code editor is. Now, one more thing is for the mention. So see, we have this mention one. Now, when you click on the mention, it actually create a list of files, of folder, of web, of code. So let's talk about the web. Uh, how to uh, run uh, Q in PHP. Now, this is a totally different thing. I'm just asking on the web how to run a queue in PHP. Now it's searching and it found something, you know, visiting search results, so three results are there, and boom, now you have really, really powerful thing here. Okay, so at this moment you have seen that although I have selected a file which is a JavaScript file, but I'm asking the web about the PHP. That's, that's really powerful, and now, you can also search for the documentation. You can add the documentation for any website, like say Laravel, is this a Laravel thing? Okay, so that's not there. But yes, you can just paste out the link for that uh, documentation and then interact with the documentation. You don't have to read the documentation, entire documentation, that's, that's so powerful. So mentioning thing is going to actually make the difference for this uh, cursor editor against the VS code or any other uh, AI coding assistant thing. Now, one more powerful thing is here, you can actually convert entire code into different language. So I'm going to select everything and this time I'm going to press command K. Now, while I say command K, I just say uh, rewrite this application into Rust language. I don't know Rust language. I have not re read this uh, Python code, but very soon I am going to have all that thing in Rust. You can see this is entirely converted into Rust. Wow, that's again so powerful thing by cursor. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into this JavaScript source index and this time you can see this is just a normal React application with the hello world. I want to add some header with a login button on that and don't want this uh, hello world. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this. I'm going to press command K. I say, uh, I want, want to have header with login 
button on right r i g h t and um, and uh, cur cursor written on left okay let's submit it so press enter and it's going to have all that thing once you see these things are good just press command and enter and you can see this time we have the entire code with the styling now at this moment suppose i have um uh, and simple is logged in so see it has auto complete now you can see cursor tab is enabled you can disable it also and that's how it has enabled it now we have here login i want to have log out if user is logged in so i'm going to just hit enter it's auto completing it's auto completing without writing so see it has analyzed the code it knows that if you have this kind of a state you probably want to have two button one is login one is log out so see i just hit enter i'm going to zoom out and see it has next step already there i am not going to write anything this is the difference between github copilot and this one in github copilot you need to tell everything you need to go at the end of this button and then hit enter and ask editor but now you can see i'm just hitting tab and tab and i think that's done yes so without doing anything and i have this welcome user if user is logged in otherwise a button wow wow now i don't want to have the welcome user i will say like log out so uh, make it log out button and this time it's going to convert that welcome user to a log out button and i accept it and everything is fine everything is fine so great so this is how you can actually interact with cursor ai now this cursor is so great but uh, we need to talk about this pricing because whatever i am using is just the free version and in the free version you get 2000 completion for free 50 slow premium request 200 cursor small uses now what are all these things so if you see here on the plan which is 20 dollar per month it says unlimited completion 500 fast premium request and when i say fast premium request that means using the best in class llm models for the premium request and unlimited slow premium request unlimited cursor is small request and 10 cloud opus user per day all these things are just enough to have the power of ai in your hand now what about github copilot pricing let's compare this with github copilot pricing github copilot is not that powerful and that's why it's uh, price is just four dollar per month per user and that makes sense because cursor can do lot of amazing things against github copilot and twenty dollar is uh, is i can say is a normal thing if it can convert 20 hour of work into just one hour it can do lot of things which is going to be time consuming but save time so if you have 20 dollar per hour of rate then yes this code editor with the 20 dollar per month is going to save a lot of time for you or going to make a lot of money for you so tell me in the comment section do you really like this cursor editor if yes then tell me which is the best feature you like for the cursor editor and if you have question related to ai related to these kind of tools just comment below because i'm here to help you out and if you like this kind of video please please go and subscribe to bitfilms youtube channel and like this video because this is how these videos can reach to other people share this video with your friends and don't forget to tag me at sarthaksevi on any platform and we will going to meet in the next video till then goodbye